Welcome. In this short video, I'm going to introduce to you how to modify the Modbus configuration that matches with the uh, operation that you have. Of course, you should have already like uh, a list of uh, what is the unit ID and what are the function codes and as well as what are the addresses so you can map the function code with the addresses. But we all know that sometimes uh, there are some codes that are not uh, identified at the beginning or maybe uh, during some phase was not there but uh, later on they are there. So in order just to adapt to any change, you need also to identify any new code, any change, any modification to the configuration. So in order to do this, we need just to uh, verify a few configuration. So first of all, we just need to go to protocols under application protection protocols. I'm going under industrial protocol to Modbus. I am here on profile 02. I picked profile 02 for my configuration. I will not set a unit ID. Uh, I will keep, keep it uh, empty. So this will uh, cause an error because I need to define one. And also I want to set all the uh, Modbus function codes. I want to set them all to block because I need to identify. So, so far, so good. And then at the end, at the Modbus address management, I will remove this. I don't want to have anything matching with any uh, any address with any function code. So this is the first stage. This is what I do to prepare. Now, be careful that this would not block the connection at the moment, will not block the operation. This, defi this is defining the IPS. And then later on, in fact, under application and protection, which is what we are going to do next, is that you look for the appropriate alarms. So I go again under IPS02, the one that I have configured, and I search for Modbus. And I look for the three things that I have modified. First of all, I have set the unit ID to empty, so it will not match with anything. So I, I want to set it to allow. So whatever the uh, unit ID is there, it will uh, rise an, an alarm as a major alarm, but it will not block the connection. The same thing, I'm going also to Modbus function code denied and also I will set it to allow, although that I have set all the function codes to block but the major alarm I have set it to allow. And the last thing is the memory access, access denied, also the same, so I did not set any address management so I will it will not match but again I will set it to pass. So I have set the, the profile 02 and I'm going to security policy filter NAT to my filter policy. As you can see in my filter policy, I have a very basic three rules. One rule is allowing access from any source to my firewall, all, all IPs of the firewall on HTTPS and SSH. This is to allow management. And then I have set a rule where I said pass from any to any destination, but I have choose the, the ICMP protocol, echo request only, not all the ICMP protocol, but only the echo request messages, which are the ping that, that we know it as a ping. And then again, I have a rule where I have defined the Modbus master with this IP, which is 192.168.159.10, and the Modbus slave is the same submit but in one, uh, uh, 123. Sorry. Now it is on port uh, standard port Modbus. It could be an, an, if the port is changed is not a problem because we have enforced the uh, protocol analysis to be on Modbus. And then on the IPS, I have chosen the profile IPS02. Now we are good. So now we can make the test. And then on the Modbus slave, I will set up the slave. Okay. So let me set the uh, unit ID to be something like 99. Uh, I will keep the function as uh, 03 and I will choose uh, the function, the, the address, sorry, to be from 22,000, let's say. Okay. And uh, it has 10 goals, so it will be uh, like, let's say, 10, so it will jump between 22000 up to 22009. This is the 10 meaning. So I'm saying OK. Now it is it is ready. I will go then to run a Modbus master. OK, and because it's a free, I need to accept. Still, it's, it's the first day today, so no, no problem. Yes, I know. And then uh, let me just set up the connection and I will say that I think 99, yes, and 22,000 with the same configuration and everything, I'll say OK. And then I will start the connection on the slave, yes, I will start later, on Modbus, on this IP, 
this is my IP and here I will start also the connection and this is the IP of the Montbus slave server now the connection is going okay just to check let me just modify one of the uh, values me make it as auto increment okay so now it will start to add and here you can see also it is adding as a result to this modification now the firewall is in between these two machines and let's see what we can get out of this so I'm going to uh, the audit logs and the alarms where I will see any kind of an alarm and you can see uh, of course I have the source name here as anonymized because it's uh, compliant with the GDPR so before we, we are able to see the actual IP addresses or usernames or any sensitive information we need to obtain this privilege and after we obtain the privilege we are able to see the actual username or the IP address so again now I can see the IP and the, uh, the name of the IP and I can see here some errors that I'm seeing as an alarm blocking the connection in fact they are not blocking the connection as you can see the action is passed because I said that in the in the IPS alarms but it, this is help us to identify you can see here we have the following I have a function code error which is code number three anything between press practice here is uh, the zero the function code so it's very simple function code error is number three unit ID denied it was set to 99 and then I have the memory address denied also and I want to see the address you can see here is the address range from 22,000 to 22,009 so this is easily help us to identify the unit IDs the function codes and the addresses that are not listed or new or have been modified or we were not aware of in order to correct the configuration and make it matching with my correct to have like kind of a good configuration so I'm going to Modbus okay and the first thing I will add the unit ID is 99 then I have the function code 3 so I will set it to pass in fact we call it scan because we are still checking the protocol uh, compliance and then we add the address management I have for the address we say that we have from 22,000 to 22,009 and the function code is 3 of course if I have more like I could type comma uh, 4 for example so I'm allowing 3 or 4 let me put the good configuration so I have it as a 3 apply and save now if I go and check the logs alarms last alarm was on uh, at 9.58 uh, uh, let me just refresh and see if we have anything new in fact we will not have anything new because let's just wait for the minute to pass in the meanwhile and I will come back to this let me also set the uh, alarms to block so just to make sure that I have the good configuration so I'm going to application protection applications and prot uh, protections so the one that I have set on IPS 02 the mode bus okay I will change uh, set them to block in case I have a wrong function code in case I have a wrong unit ID and in case if I, if I have a wrong address management so I'm blocking them all and let's keep checking that it is still going and it is still going the communication that's fine and we go in the audit logs alarms last one is still at the same time at the same time so this is uh, how we see you can of course always go to host monitoring by the way and you'll see all the communicating host in the network all the hosts that the, the firewall is seeing and on which interface they are connected any one of them you click you will get some details okay if it has some vulnerabilities you will see them here if there are any like uh, applications that have been defined uh, identified will be seen here depends just with the with the more running it has you will get more information and as you can see immediately it detected it as a Windows uh, operating system so with, with more traffic we will be able even to identify the version of the windows and more active applications and so on thank you for watching